Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 18th of November 2020. This morning's devotional is a reading from Luke chapter 8, reading verse 8 and then reading verse 15, which read, Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. Verse 15, But the seed on the good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart, who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. Today we continue having a look at discipleship. Jesus says that the good soil consists of those with a good and noble heart, who hear the word, retain it, and produce a crop with perseverance. One of the very first things we need in order to be discipled is an open heart. This honest and good heart is an element of the disciple who bears fruit, the kind of person who breaks free from the choking thorns of cares, riches and pleasures of life that strive to keep the fruit from maturing. The struggle to have an open heart includes humility, a willingness to be corrected and to learn, as well as obedience to what Jesus tells us. What it comes down to is surrender, not just once, but an ongoing process of total surrender. Give as much as you know of yourself to as much as you know of God. As you give yourself and learn more of God, then you will have more to give God who now seems greater. As we do that, our capacity increases. Another element is the word. In the parable of the sower, the seed is the word, the message. The growth, which the disciples experience, is required by regular exposure to the teachings of Jesus in scriptures. It is important to be mentored by those who preach the word with whom you can sit under and learn from. Much similar to what Mary did when she sat at the feet of Jesus in Luke chapter 10. But here's another thing. Just listening is not enough. James writes in James chapter 1 verse 22, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. And this is something that we all struggle with. Those who study scripture learn how to maximize spiritual growth and have found that the greatest spiritual growth comes from reflection on the word, not only listening. But what does that mean? It means to wrestle with the word, to grapple with it, to sit around with a group of other seekers and to really hear and seek after God. It takes time to process things. We hear it, but to really understand it so that we can start to incorporate it into our daily lives takes processing time. It takes time of reflection. I think of Jesus sitting around the campfire after a day of teaching. The disciples are talking about his parables. What does that mean? Why did Jesus do that? Asks one. What about that lady came that came and was healed? Asks another. There's a learning process on relating to the word. It's a reflective process. My dear friends, as we continue tomorrow with this little mini-series, my prayer is may the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and may we allow him to guide us, to show us, and to lead us to have an open heart. Goodbye.